Okay, so to turn the gates on, there's a little red button here, which is the on off button. Just press and hold till I hear a beep. And you'll also, and that's the response from the gate connecting to the laptop. And you'll also see there's this green LED. Green LED is obviously meaning something's on. The red power button, I only press and hold till I hear a beep. If I want to turn the gate off manually, the software will turn it off for me when I'm finished. If I want to manually do it, press and hold till I hear two beeps. Oh, sorry, that was my bad. Press and hold till you hear two beeps. Let go, green light will fade out, and the gate is now off again. As far as how the gate gets power, if we come up to the top here, we'll notice there's a lid pulling that straight off. There is a notch and a groove, so you can't twist the lid to get it off, just straight up and straight down. Inside here are my four AA batteries. If I needed to change the batteries, you get around 100 hours of runtime depending on how you use the gates. But at any point in time, the software tells me what the battery levels are. And once I'm concerned about the battery levels and I want to swap them out, just take the lid off, leave it all connected, switch your batteries out, put the new ones back in, slot it back in, lid on and turn the gate on. But if I needed to replace this battery pack, you'll notice there's a red connector here. So just by pulling this apart, I've now able to send you a new battery pack if you need a new one. Switch your batteries over to it, plug it back in. So you may notice that this is a uh, male to female connector, which means I can only get it in one particular way. So make sure you don't force it, line it up black to black, red to red through the lines of the, uh, the wires, press it back together. So I've now taken my batteries out Batteries only go in a particular way as well, so don't force them. Keep the extra lead out of the way. Tuck the wires back into their little home. Once they're in, you've got the slot and the, uh, the male and the female connector here. Let's orientate those. Get the wires out of the way. Push it back on. Now that I've turned it off by changing batteries and unplugging it, I just come back down again to the on off button, press and hold till I hear a beep, it's on, it's connected to the laptop, green lights on, happy days. This is then when I'd go and run a test race, particularly if I was in the race screen at that point in time, do a test race, make sure everything's behaving as it should, and then get up and running with the rest of my races.